Let's do an efficiency test of the long range Model 3 Highland. So just to explain what we are going to do is that we are going to go on to the motorway here, drive around 13 kilometers over to the end of the motorway tunnel. We are going to turn around here. We are uh, then going to drive all the way back and then one more loop. That will be around 50 kilometers. Okay, let's start by resetting our efficiency EF, it's called here. And let's drive on the motorway around 50 kilometers. We will have a speed of around 110 kilometers per hour. That's not the average since we have to get onto the motorway but we will use the same speed for all the cars. So the, it's the same route for all cars and we will try to keep the same speeds as well. And of course we do this to the best of our ability. It is two degrees out. It's also important to note that we have 27% state of charge. This should be more than enough to make, make this, uh, this uh, stretch. But I want to have a low state of charge every time I test because then I can do a charging test right after I have arrived. What's nice about this range test is that we are in a tunnel, so we are less affected by the outside weather. So if it's windy, it can de decrease range by many, many percent actually. So now I'm able to have a less traffic route. I can keep a constant speed and I'll be able to test uh, it against other cars in a similar manner. Also rain, snow, doesn't really matter. Temperature of course matters, it's two degrees. Since this is the benchmark car, actually, I can uh, just uh, use any rules I want, as long as I use the same rules with any other car. This is our turn around point. So we will turn around, go back, and we will turn around again and do one more loop. We are now nearing uh, the turnaround point. So we need to slow down, turn around and we will go back to where we started. So this is the last turnaround point. The current efficiency is 166 watt hour per kilometer, which uh, is pretty good. So we have used six kilowatt hours so far. So uh, let's see how much we have once we are back at the location we started. We are back where we started. Let's go through the stats. Okay, battery low, that's fine. We are at 15% state of charge. We have an average efficiency of 161 watt hour per kilometer. We have used nine kilowatt hours and we have driven 53 kilometers. So the route in the motorway was 53 kilometers. And that'll be our standard measurement moving forward. So if you know the battery cap uh, capacity of a car, you can just divide the capacity by this number to get the kilometers range. We are back in our 2021 Model 3 long range and let's test the efficiency on the same route as before. From here through the tunnel, turn around one more through the tunnel, then back here. We will reset the trip right now. Uh, but for, before I reset the trip, I just want to go through the, st the stats here. We are at 27%. Uh, 140 kilometers indicated. That's the same percentage. We have a warm battery, uh, exactly the same as in the Highland Model 3 uh, now. Uh, it's three degrees. It was two de degrees, I think, uh, when the, uh, I drove the Highland Model 3. Uh, so the temperature is about the same. Uh, I would say that due to a little bit snow on the road here, we will uh, kind of it will kind of even out the efficiency but it's as close as possible. And since we are going through a tunnel, a motorway tunnel, the longest motorway tunnel in the world, actually, uh, 
the weather doesn't really affect us too much and the temperature inside the tunnel is um, kind of stable at around 6-7 degrees. Uh, anyways, so it, the weather outside doesn't really matter that much. So we will reset the trip and then uh, go. Now we are at the first uh, turnaround uh, point, so we turn around here, go back, and then uh, once more through the motorway tunnel. Our current stats are 173 watt hour per kilometer. We have used 2 kilowatt hours to drive 13 kilometers. Uh, I suspect the watt hour per kilometer will drop and we will get a higher efficiency once we are a little bit more into the test. We are uh, slowing down for our second turnaround point. We are uh, slowing down for our last turnaround point. Now we will return to the place that we started. This is why it's best to do loop style tests, because you get the same uh, elevation. Anyways, we have driven 40 kilometers. We have used six kilowatt hours to get this far. We are back where we started and let's go through the stats. Here are our stats. We used 158 watt hour per kilometer. That's our efficiency. That's less than the Mol 3 long range Highland. You can see that the odometer is more, and that's because it doesn't show decimals. So it's around 53.9 or something on the Highland, so that's nothing to worry about. We used less kilowatt hours, 9 kilowatt hours was indicated on the Highland, 158 watt hour per kilometer. And then I start uh, to think what might be the cause for our 2021 model being more efficient. Could it be uh, the weight? Could it be that the temperature is higher? It's a little bit higher now, but it's so much more slippery as well. It shouldn't matter at all. Both cars were preheated, ready to go. My conclusion is that the Mol 3 2021 long range might be more efficient. I ran the exact same test, the temperature was about the same, uh, the road conditions are about the same, it's more, it's now it's snow and slippery, but it doesn't really matter because it's, you know, in the tunnel, and anyways, this was the more efficient car with worse conditions, anyways, uh, I think the test is not perfect because I can't maintain the exact perfect uh, uh, speed all the time, but the acceleration was about the same and um, yeah, 110 kilometers indicated and I checked with the GPS, they are at the same level uh, speed-wise as well and 158 watt hour per kilometer so, and 162 on the Highland so is the Highland less efficient? Might, there might be like an anomaly on the car or something or it might be that there is an issue in my test but I tried at least to make the test as good as possible with using this perfect test tunnel with this motorway tunnel the wind can't really affect the test either so it can't be the wind 
So, and of course you can say that uh, I accelerated harder with the Highland and it's only 54 kilometers. So, you know, small things can mean a lot, but there is a reason why I do the loop twice. It's because I really want to uh, get an average uh, good uh, efficiency number that you can use. And I think 54 kilometers is enough to do that, especially when you keep the same speed all the time uh, to get the efficiency number. Uh, I don't have um, any roof rails or stuff on this car. So um, yeah, temperature inside the tunnel is about the same as uh, the last time. You can see that in the video as well. And uh, yeah, the heater in the car uh, at the same temperature as well. I don't really know uh, what to think that it has a higher wheel to be range. So I assume the battery is um, larger. This one has the LG battery, which is a little bit smaller than the one that came after it. And I suspect the Highland has the same uh, that came after it, which is, um, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this test. I hope you found the numbers interesting. Please comment down below if you might have any um, comments on the test or what might uh, influence the numbers. What do you think? Does it really matter if the battery is larger so you get more watt hours that you can use so we get longer range? I like an efficient car, so I don't know what to think about this.